Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Zero Analyst. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get data from a folders in Mac. Now you have these features in Excel. So if you're using Excel on Windows, you by default get these features, which is called get data from folders. So where you can select a folders and you can kind of get the data from folders. So let me show you with an example. Let's say you're using an Excel file and you want to get all the data that is from this folders which is going to be this folders is called daily sales okay so in this folders we do have a different different day and this sales okay now if you see the day one we have the sales data right so let's uh, check in the day one we have this sales data in the day two we do have this sales data right so in every day we do have a different different sales data so what we want is that we want to combine all the data together so what you can do is that we can simply use a power query and we can select the data from this complete folders which is going to be this folders right so from this folders we would select the data source as this folders and whenever we put any new data in this folder it is going to automatically update by just clicking refresh on this workbook okay now in windows you do have this functions which is called get data from folders so if you can go to this data and you can go to data from and you have this option which is called from folders okay so same function is not available in mac excel because of the privacy again this is a uh, you know options which is not available so i will show you how you can get data from folders and you can combine data from folders so if in case you add any new data in that folders it is going to automatically update okay so let's go to mac and i will show you how you can solve this a uh, problem so i will just minimize it and uh, this is the file which we have all the data you can see the daily sales we do have a different different days and the different different uh, sales informations Okay, so what you want is that in another Excel workbook, we want to get the data from all this file that is inside it, right? So if you see it here, here also we have this data, right? It's the same type of data. So we would just want to combine all the data that is in this folders, okay? So if you're using Excel on Mac, you would have to kind of select one by one file and uh, there is no way you can select all the files together it's like get data from folders in windows so here what you need to do is that if you just go to this get data and using a power query you, you only have these options you do not have options which is called get data from folders if you're using mac and if you're using excel on mac right so to solve this problem first of all we will be using simple vba techniques okay so i will first show you so let's maybe drag it here and let's first go to uh, settings and turn on the developer tools so we need to kind of go to the developer tools and turn it on so we can go to settings preferences and uh, ribbons and we can turn on the developer tools because we would need to access vba i will click on save and if you see right now i have the developer tools and from here i will select which is called visual basics and uh, you get this a uh, toolbox which is called immediate so here you just need to write which is called dir and uh, inside this uh, parenthesis, you just need to give the path of that folders which you want to give access to Excel because Excel by default do not have access to any folders. By default in Windows, it get auto access to everything, but in Mac, it doesn't get access. So we will just copy the path. I will just press options and uh, copy the path, which is going to be this. Let's go ahead and press uh, this and press options or I can just open it and uh, I will just copy the path from here okay so I will say copy path and uh, this is in my desktop I'll go to the workbook and right now I will just select which is called visual code again you get this dial box you just need to write dir and here you need to paste in the path okay you need to make sure that and that single semicolon is being deleted okay so you need to write dir and inside this parenthesis inside this double quotes just put the folder locations where you have the folders okay just hit enter and you are going to get this dial box which is saying that okay giving permissions to this folder so we are forcefully giving permission to microsoft excel to this folders okay we will say select and uh, you're just going to select these folders and you will you can say then grant access okay now excel has uh, permissions to this folder so you just need to close everything okay and uh, close even the excel as well make sure uh, quit the excels okay okay so let's go ahead and open the excel workbook again and uh, any excel workbook right now microsoft excel has access to this folder so i would just go ahead and say blank workbook and uh, i will go to data and you can see my developer is already here and uh, i will simply select this and get query and here is still you don't have that option so it's called get data from folder but that's okay we just need to write one line of m language here in the power query we will select blank query and here you just need to write which is called folder dot 
files okay now you can simply put the path here so the path is going to be inside this parenthesis we're going to put the path okay path to that folders from where we want to access all the files okay so you will say next right now you are getting these options so you can simply say combine and uh, which is called combine files right so you need to say combine files and uh, it's going to combine all the file you will be getting these options yes we want to combine all the files we will see okay and uh, you can see it has combined all the file i can simply load it to my excel workbook and uh, it is going to load the data so here you can see it has loaded all the data right so right now i have the day one data i have the day two data i have the day three data i have a kind of day four data and the day five data so all the datas are combined together now good thing is that if i remove something okay if i let's say remove something from here let's say i want to remove the day five for now and i will just click on refresh here you will see the day five will be gone right now you don't see the day five data correct so i will be just adding some new data let's say in the day five i want to add a today's date and i would just say that product id g maybe quantity one price is kind of 40 and total is 100 okay let me just save this and quantity five okay so i'll say command save and i'm going to add the new row right now i will just put this into this folders and i can simply say which is called data and a refresh okay so you can see it has automatically added that a file which i have just added right which is the day five okay so this is the power of getting data from specific folder instead of getting the data from specific files because you need to combine every time right you need to manually select it so now what will happen if anyone is going to dump some data in this folders our this excel workbook is automatically going to get this data and now using this you can create a kind of you know dashboard or whatever you want to create so this table name is query so using this query table you can create a dashboards and um, you can build a reports right so if you add new data it is going to automatically select all the data from this folders i hope this video was helpful if you have any doubt queries write a comment in the comment box see you next time have a good day take care bye bye